Good morning guys, happy Sunday. I'm going to do a quick walk around of my 1993 Toyota pickup truck and uh, here we go. This is my baby, 1993 Toyota pickup. It's a deluxe model, extra cab. Everything is stock on it guys. Zero lift. And I intend to keep it that way. I, it's a older vehicle, it's 26 years old. <laughs> um, there's no way I'm going to do a bunch of mods on it and make it last not as long as it possibly could. I would like to keep driving it daily, so. Beautiful, beautiful truck, guys. It's, uh, to me, this represents a time in history when Manufacturers built things to last for decades, not just for a few years, and then you have to do major repairs. Keep in mind, this truck is 1993, and it's got a ton of miles, which I will disclose in just a little bit. It's four-wheel drive, so it's great in the winter. I live in Minnesota, and um, definitely need four-wheel drive in the winter. So... I did a lot of uh, repair slash maintenance to it already. I acquired this truck last September uh, for a dollar amount, which I am happy with. I will not disclose it in this video, uh, but you know, it's uh, it was a good price. So let's continue with the walk around. I'm really proud of this truck for just uh, just trucking along. You know, I mean, I've really not done any big stuff to it. Uh, the big problem I've had, which I will go over in a little bit once I pop the hood, was the airflow meter. Uh, I and that was my own fault. I screwed it up. I was trying to trying to clean it, and I uh, basically broke it, broke the solder uh, when I was re uh, moving it from the truck. So that was my own fault. It was working just fine on its own. So I have towed with this truck, uh, not a lot of weight, maybe a thousand, two thousand pounds of furniture uh, on a trailer. Moved great, towed great. You know, it pulls. It's got the five-speed, so I don't have to worry about the transmission. I did put these new mud flaps on, which I really, really enjoy looking at <laughs> from Rock Auto. They didn't come pre-fit. Uh, the sizes didn't match, the bolt holes didn't match, so I did have to drill and cut quite a bit to make them fit. But yeah, this is my truck, guys. It's, uh, it's in really good shape. And you must be wondering, after I said I live in Minnesota, is it rusted? Is it rotten? Is it going to go into the ground? Well, I will show you now. Okay, here it is. So most of you guys are wondering, you know, show us a frame. What does a frame look like? Here it is, no rot, like I was mentioning. Uh, rocker panels in great condition. It's got surface rust. You know, every truck, every car is gonna have some surface rust underneath. But it has no rot. It's structurally sound. As you can see, no rot. It's just uh, some surface rust around the welds. Right. It's even kind of shiny on some spots. I just pressure washed it yesterday. Take a look at the back. I mean, it's got some rust, but nothing we can get rid of with some wire brushing. And the plan that I have is to take the bed off sometime this year to uh, do a full restoration. Get all the frame painted keep the rust from coming back and you know do do the body work to the bed to the body uh, really get everything perfect but yeah as you can see I did some sandblasting last year when I first got the truck and the marks are still there no new rust um, absolutely no rot I should say there's some surface rust but who cares about that? You're not crawling underneath looking at it every day. Um, there we go. More, more proof that my truck is not rotten. 
<laughs> driving a rusty truck around. All right, guys, I've opened up the hood. Here I'll present to you the infamous 3.0 Toyota V6 engine in all of its glory, right? It's known for blowing head gaskets. However, I did uh, look up the service history of this vehicle at the dealership. Uh, on the record, it states that back in year 2000, head gaskets were replaced under recall in California. So that's how I know the vehicle came from California and that the head gasket issue has been taken care of. Now, what did I do underneath this uh, engine bay? I did a lot of maintenance, okay? So first of all, I replaced the, um, first of all, I replaced all six uh, spark plugs and the spark plug wires. So all the wires are brand new. All the plugs are brand new, uh, Denzel plugs. Um, I did replace this rubber intake hose. It was all cracked and broken. I ordered a rebuilt um, mass airflow sensor or the proper name for this truck should be airflow meter. Uh, that was uh, all broken on my old one, so I did get a replacement for that. Now it works like a charm. Brand new radiator, uh, brand new hose, upper and lower radiator hose, uh, coolant flush. I uh, did replace all of the power steering components from the pump to all the hoses, and now it doesn't leak a drop. See, it's right at the top. Uh, when I first bought the truck, the it didn't even come with power steering. The guy just left it empty because it would leak so fast. It turned out it was just the um, the pump was broken and the uh, the vacuum switch was broken. So I replaced all of that and fixed that issue. Okay, what else? What else? Um, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, battery is less than a year old. Uh, never gave me any starting issues. Uh, the biggest problem I had was the uh, airflow meter. It had become, I think I uh, was trying to clean it. I tried to clean it, but I didn't know how to, and, and I didn't know how to take it apart. So I ended up breaking it, and I got this new one. Now it's working just like a brand new truck. Uh, oh, I also replaced all the drive belts, the fan belts down there, all three air conditioner, power steering, and alternator belts all replaced. Uh, yeah, uh, as far as the actual engine goes, I did replace the valve cover gaskets, throttle body gasket, uh, I replaced the intake plenum gasket, uh, what else, EGR gaskets. Yeah, so a bunch of minor stuff that I uh, have been keeping track of doing the maintenance uh, because when I first got the truck, it leaked like the, yeah, I just left a lot of oil on my driveway all the time. I hated that. So now it's leak free. Uh, yeah, so I'm very happy with it. It's, uh, it's got a nice stance to it. You know, 235, 75, 15 tires on the stock rims these are my summer rims i do have some winter tires that goes with the other set of rims that i will put on in the winter season but yeah this is my beautiful beautiful classic truck it's uh 26 years old so it's soon to be old enough to be called a classic right yeah so the seats torn up obviously from daily usage uh, i did vacuum the interior yesterday it looks pretty clean in here on the back i've got some spare fluids some towels some parts the club for anti-theft seats are super comfortable i like these bench seats they provide a lot of good support They're really comfy and um, this is what you've been wondering the whole time. You've been wondering about... So something that you guys have been wondering the whole time, which I've kept until now, mileage. How many miles does my Toyota pickup have? So let's take a look. 
As of today, it's got 245,940 miles. For one of these trucks, uh, that's nothing to worry about, especially once the gasket has been uh, has been replaced under recall. We know that's been taken care of, and it's got the five-speed, so the transmission's not going to go out anytime soon. It's got the uh, four-wheel drive shifter. Uh, it's got a little uh, CD player. It does have radio. It does have an aux input. Um, and AC works great. Heat works great. Cup holders are small, but we have them. At least we have them. Uh, so that's uh, that's convenient. And it's got the clutch start cancel. So basically, I turn the key to the start position without turning on the truck. Click, uh, turn this button on. And then I can start the truck without having my foot on the clutch, which is real convenient. Um, yeah, so basic, basic interior, zero sound deadening. It rides like a real truck. Uh, there's no doubt in that, even with new shock, brand new shocks, brand new front steering components. Um, I could use new leaf springs, but that's for another day. In a few months, uh, once I get all the parts, all the paint, all that good stuff together i'll do a full restoration so make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel uh, i'll be continuing to film and add videos of projects i'm doing with this truck to that youtube channel check it out subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys next time peace